Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God. We show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, we are coming up on March 15th now. And nearly every month for many years now, we have been showing the symbolism plays out in an escalation from the 15th through the 23rd of each month, as if everything is preparing and practicing for the end of days. And now we are near the 15th now, there's going to be a lot of symbolism coming up. We do not know if the end of days will begin right away. The chaos is already spreading in every way, shape, and form. But you can see right here in Washington, D.C., by the White House, on the 15th, the nuclear football is teed up to be kicked, and for what is known as the Large CERN Hadron Collider to be turned on. Show that right here. You can see the football right here by the Washington Monument. We do not know if it will happen this 15th or not, but the symbolism normally plays out from the 15th through the 23rd of each month. And see this vampiric looking guy coming down, even with the King Kong figure over here, just as the woman riding the beast, and this guy coming, the fifth angel. See the 50? And he comes down to with the key to open the abyss. This is the large CERN Hadron Collider. And right here mapped out is the woman of the Bible, the church and the woman of Revelation 12, which is granted the wings of a great eagle. Right over here mapped out, you can see a grievous head wound event happening to what looks like the Pope. And this ship, which represents the eagle, see the eagle's nest? And then right here, this actually represents the heart machine to cause the great earthquake of Revelation 12. And then this represents the guillotines coming. But we can see that the dates are right here in front of us. So we need to keep watch from the 15th through the 23rd. And if nothing happens this month, the symbolism will play out around us, just as they just released some tax returns of Donald Trump that is causing chaos in the news agencies. But you can see all of that right there. From the 15th through the 23rd, we need to keep watch. These signs are always right in front of us. Here comes the beast out of the sea with the feet of the bear. The market crash is coming, the nuclear football. See the 50 for the fifth age? And this represents nuclear war coming all the way over to here to where there's a great earthquake. There's the Pope working with the Russian Orthodox Church. And it shows right here something happening to Trump Tower. See that right there? And the wheel of the Great Tribulation coming. So you can see all the players are right here in front of us. You can put them in the different places as you wish. Even in the new movie coming out called The Fate of the Furious, it all starts on a 15 when Dom breaks out through there just like the beast breaking out from the pit you see the 15th right there and there's the 15th and it's all centered upon the fifth angel that comes with the key to open the abyss may God have mercy on us all so let's keep watch as we move through the rest of the month and document everything that's going on there it is the 15th it represents these two beasts rising, the beast out of the sea and the beast out of the earth. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. So here we go again from the 15th through the 23rd. Let's keep watch and document everything that goes on. Hallelujah. It's still on us.
us. These guys are taking this personal. You were only supposed to create a diversion, Roman. That was complete destruction. What you want from me? I'm Roman Pierce, man. It's what I do. Phase two. Phase two? What's phase two? Bounds away. Holy shit. You know what I like about you, Dom? You're a genuine outlaw, but you're a family. The hell of a job, brother. When we get back to the base, beer's on me. He's about to go up against the only thing they can't handle. You. Did you ever think you'd betray your family the way you did today? Dominic Toretto just turned on us. Well, 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 do you look at that? I don't know why he's doing this, but that wasn't dumb. She's the very definition of high-tech terrorism. And now, she's working with your guy. I think I found my team. This should be interesting. You wanna play like that? This is impossible. All right, team, listen up. This crew is about family, but the game has changed now. Dominic Toretto just went rogue. You gonna turn your back on family? She is shown right here at the move at the end of the movie I Am Legend. It shows the 911 Beast released right here, Plagues, and then the last horse, the Wicked Woman. See her right there, the witch, that ends up putting this guy away. Her job is actually to lock him right into the pit through there until her time is done. And then the next part of the Bible is the new branch and the new age and the earth will be healed. So there she is right there, the wicked woman coming. God have mercy on us all. Hallelujah.